The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. Back into it and back at it. You've got The Local Show right here on 570 WSYR 1069. FM along with Tom and Steve. Steve, you, there's a couple things I want you to talk about. First, uh, the Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. You suckered. I mean, you get them on oh to be a. Um, <laughs> they were at, when we started this thing five years ago. They started with us. Yeah, and, they um, did. Even before we were proven. Yes, it's true. Now we're proven Harriers. We, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the Tell Safe them. Harbor Wills and Trusts. If you haven't done your update if you haven't updated well if you didn't put your house in a trust you might want to look at that because tom you and i and many of our friends aren't getting any younger, younger right. uh do it so give them a call you can answer they'll answer questions uh 370-9977 uh 370-9977 the team over at safe harbor wills and trust.com Tom. Very good. And we'll talk about the Steve compliment line uh, next time, okay? Oh, well, thank you. let's look at, we can't talk well, about it. I want to hear about George me. here. Is there a Steve the, compliment he is, line? Yes, there is. Come on, that's oh. way more interesting than George is, Tom. Okay, well, George, George, he's got a text line that people can text him funny pet pictures. Okay. As that's well as compliments. pictures. It's it's compliments. <laughs> let's be clear. Oh, oh we love Steve it, line? Yes. It's, <laughs> that's what, that's, you got it, man. You want to hear something on the show, <laughs> you have a question, maybe you got an idea for a guest, yeah. uh, text us, 21 one six zero two seven three. Write that down. It's mm-hmm. a three one five. Here we go, Tom. Two one six zero zero two seven three. Can I read a number straight ever, Tom? I doubt it. I'm gonna try one more time. <laughs> three one five. Two one six zero two seven three. Let us know who you want to hear. Maybe you want to hear a guest back you haven't heard in a while. Maybe you just want to compliment Tom's, you know, yeah. Boeing voice. Um, and that, why we love Steve. And why and we why, and yes, and why we love Steve. So, Steve so there. Adulation line. So there. So George, your time is up. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's been good knowing you. Right? Yo, don't Tom let the is door hit you on the way out. <laughs> George Powers is back with us again, folks. George is the owner of Powers Accounting, and uh, you can see them at G powers.com. Now, George, I uh, am not great with calendars and time and actually anything that requires intelligence. uh, (laughs) I'm not great with. But uh, I do know that the tax time, people talk about we're coming up to tax time. Is that the case? uh, We should have theme music. Like the Darth Vader. There there we go. (laughs) So uh, when is uh, officially tax time? Every day. Uh, Well, yeah, every day is tax time. Uh, December 31st is the big date. Okay, gotcha. Because that's when the year is over for calendar year companies or individuals. And if you want to make a change, that is the best time to change before that point in what time. What kind of change? There are some things what, you can still do change? potentially after the after the first. But before the first of the year is really if you're going to make an adjustment for your taxes, now's the time to do it. It is from October 1st through December 31st is really tax planning season for us. Gotcha. Uh, we're spending a lot of time with our business clients on projecting their taxes, what they can do to reduce their taxes, uh, discussions on what that means to them. Mm-hmm. There's still a lot of things companies can do. There's always a famous, you know, if you need equipment, buy equipment now, because you can oh, probably is it, is write this, it off. Do I, um, well, what do I call it? Depreciation, have those laws changed? Because it used to be you had to take it over five years or 10 years, but then you can take it immediately if it's a certain amount. Is, is that, what is that rule? Well, th- that is, yeah, you're right about, <laughs> basically correct about that rule. Uh, they have changed a bit, but they still have what we call uh, Section 179, expensing of the equipment when you put it into service. You doesn't mean you should or need to, but the first year you put a piece of equipment in service, you have an option of writing it off that year. Now it never makes sense just to buy things. But I always can. Tax I can always write it off. I'm not not writing it off. Correct. So the, the, the if you buy a piece of equipment that has to be depreciated, you're going to write it off. It's just the question is, do you write it off this year or over the next five to seven years or okay. whatever the depreciation cycle is. Gotcha. But if you're going to pay for it this year, why not write it off this year? Now, again, it is if you need it. We never suggest clients buy something just for a tax write off because that's doesn't make sense. How about contributions? Like, you know, would you do that now if you had a foundation you want to give to or anything like that? Does that help you lower your tax bracket? Potentially, but not as much as it used to. Because what they did in the last couple of years, they changed the itemized deductions dramatically. And 
now if you're an S corporation or sole proprietorship, you do not get, and this has, part hasn't changed, but you don't get the charitable contributions on your business return. It flows through to your personal return. And most people in this area do not itemize their taxes anymore. So they actually do not get a deduction for charitable contributions. Because anymore. the standard deduction is so high? Correct. They, they raised the standard deduction hmm. and they limited the amount of taxes that uh, individuals can write off. But that actually also leads to another deduction that the, the state put in service here a couple of years ago called a PTET tax, pass through entity tax. And if you have a partnership or an S corporation, you can elect to pay New York state income tax through that pass through entity. <clears throat> and then what ends up happening, you get a tax deduction for the state tax you pay to, well, for the state, you pay your state income taxes through your S corporation or partnership and you get a tax deduction. So you don't get it on your itemized deductions, but you get it in your business. Hey, Tom, I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So we'll try I, that again. So are you saying that maybe before I couldn't write off the one taxes that go towards the other taxes, but now I can? Well, as an, as an individual, most people cannot write off much in the way of taxes. The IRS, I shouldn't say that, the Congress limited the amount of taxes that a person can write off to $10,000 maximum as an itemized deduction. So it's called a, the SALT limitation, state and local tax limitation. So that was done here in the last tax uh, update, uh, last tax law change. But then what New York State did, and a number of other states have done it too, they said, okay, if your corporation decides or partnership elects in, it can elect to pay income taxes through this entity. The typically pass through entities do not pay income tax all profit or losses okay. that it makes passes through to the individuals, the individuals pay the income taxes. You can elect to say, I elect to pay my income taxes through my S corporation. Now, so why would anybody ever want to pay income Because now tax? I'm, I'm not paying income tax on money. It, it, it's a pass through. It, I'm, I'm taxed at a lower rate because that money didn't touch me. It went through the corp? Not really, but okay, let me continue here. Steve. Yeah, it's, not getting any, <laughs> it's not getting any better, Tom. Okay, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> it, it, now, what is a pass It's only a four it, hour it, show. It, it is a little complicated, but you take that, you've elected to pay your state income taxes through your corporation or uh -huh. partnership. You get a tax deduction for that on your corporation, but then the amount of money you paid in that PTET, that tax, flows through and you get a credit on your state oh. income tax return. So in essence, let's okay. say you have uh, $10,000 of tax that you would owe in the PTET tax, you pay that in your corporation, you get a $10,000 credit, it works just like estimated tax payments on your state income taxes. Mm -hmm. So it costs you nothing, but you get a $10,000 tax deduction that you otherwise would God, not and Which is why people use people like you, because the average Joe doesn't know this stuff. Yeah. It's, it's much harder to explain than it is to actually do. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I, I'm still trying to work in the best way to explain this, and it's been a few years. And, and, and that is, uh, real quick, Tom, I just yes, want to go make ahead. Go ahead. You have to elect into that. If you want to do it, you have to elect in every year, and it has to be elected in between January 1st and March 15th of that year. So you're too late for 2024, but if you want to participate in 25, you have to elect in after January 1st, but before March 15th. So it's just a, a point of, of timing. Yeah. I understand. So, uh, Powers Accounting, we're, we're kind of into the interview now, and I don't want to assume that you know the listening audience, although you are pretty famous, I mean, I think that goes without saying, but, but people might not know all about you. Give the 30 second elevator speech on what Powers Accounting is. What we typically and, and primarily really focus on is working with our business clients. We work with our clients on a monthly basis mm -hmm. to help them organize their records. Uh, we want to help them uh, increase their profits and save taxes. And what we really become is their, their partner in their business. So we work with them on an ongoing basis to help them uh, to survive and thrive. So that's what we really want okay. our clients to do, to survive and thrive. Look at that. So um, you've used up all our time. So Tom, let's have this guy hang over. Yeah, after, yeah. The, after the stop set, we'll talk to George some more. How's that? Okay. 